Well, today it is bright and early. It is 10.35. It's bright and early for me. Uh, we are at Goodwill, and we are about to head in and see what we can find that we can flip for a profit. So here we go. Right in the door, I have found myself a Holt Howard cat. It does have a chip on the ear, which is unfortunate, but it's beautiful. It is the cozy kitty, and it is Holt Howard, and I'm just super stoked. This is like a sign. This is a sign that we are going to have a wonderful day. I'm, I'm interpreting this as a sign. And I start down this aisle, but I decide, maybe I don't want to go down this aisle. I'm going to switch. And then I go down this aisle. And I spot this lovely thing on the bottom shelf, this beautiful piece of cruel artwork. And I'm in love with the flowers. They're so colorful. It's quite large, but it's okay. Now it appears as though someone has donated their antique collection, possibly, that looked like a price tag from an antique shop. I love it and I will take it. Over here, I've spotted this floral dish it is marked on the bottom. It's California pottery of some sort. It was kind of hard to read, but it was just very big and I decided it wasn't something that I really wanted to mess with as far as shipping. It was quite nice though. I will admit it was quite nice. Back here, we've got some, some bowls, some dishes, and they are marked on the bottom but I don't see them as being anything special. Checking out this beautiful cake stand hiding under this bowl. So I put the bowl down on the floor and I grab the cake stand and the cake stand is marked George Briard. It is a silver overlay and it is mid-century George Briard beautiful piece here we've got another uh, I guess you could say a footed I don't know if this is necessarily a cake plate because this is like it's it's more of a console bowl or dish $6.99 which is a little steep but it is hand painted it has the reticulated edge it's a it's a nice piece and so I'm willing to pay $6.99 for that Um, I noticed this bowl. I've come across this a lot. I'm not actually sure who makes this, but it is a, it's kind of a flashed applied glass. I think that might be Mikasa. Down here we have an adorable little dish with pansies and a bowl with a cowboy on it. He looks like the Lone Ranger. He goes into the cart. Now this little bowl has pansies on it. It is very nice porcelain. The back is marked. It is in English China. And so I decide that I like the little pansy bowl. These were interesting. I imagine they would have had a stand of some sort. I think they're kind of vases. I thought this was adorable. The back was marked the, from the zoo. I guess it was a piece from the zoo that you could buy at the gift shop, but I thought it was quite nice. Up here, I spotted this divided dish. It was marked on the bottom Italy, but unfortunately it did have this chip, and that was a chip that I was not willing to overlook. Up here, I found this beautiful Italian cat. I'm in love. I put it in my cart. <laughs> now I did uh, miss a clip there. I forgot to hit record, but I'm showing you now when I realized it, I put these cups into the cart and we've got the cat. Unfortunately, one of those bottom flowers was missing a petal, but the cat was just too magnificent to leave behind. 
up here we've got a beautiful piece of glass. I do believe that this is Italian. I love it. It comes with me, of course. And our card is filling up very quickly. This looks like a glugger pitcher, I believe is what it's called. And the reason it has that name is because when you pour it, it goes glug, 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 glug. It was not, however, and I decided to leave it. This piece was interesting, but you can see it does have modern stickers on it. And I steer clear from modern. It's just a personal preference. It's not because modern is not worth money. There are some modern things that are worth money. I just prefer the vintage. These are some nice plates. These are Japan, but I just didn't see a whole lot of resale value in the plates, and so I left them there. Over here, we've got a whole set of china, but there was no markings on it. This, this was awesome. This is made in China. It's just a little divided dish, but it's got its it's handle. I just, I love these things. I think they're adorable. This is a modern piece. I tip it over to be sure. And sure enough, it says Amita. Now I do spot that Lennox Hurricane globe down there. Um, and eventually I do end up finding it on the shelf and grabbing it. I'm trying to figure out how to get around this. Okay, I'll just move it. No big deal. Ooh, ooh, I had to touch it. I had to touch it, and then later I find it on the shelf. Don't worry. Uh, so I spotted this little dish here. This is, I believe, from Denmark. We're about to find out. It is from Holland, and it is beautiful. It goes into our cart. This little dish here I decided to turn over. There was a modern sticker on the bottom. Got a set of china up here. The mark did not impress me. The bird I decided to check because it did remind me of Royal Staffordshire, however, it did have a chipped beak, and I don't believe that it was English. I think it was probably made in China. This piece right here, I loved the glaze on it. It was $4.99, but I decided to pass on that. This bowl was just absolutely stunning. I loved the contrast of the gold and the blue. Typically a bowl like this would have come with two candlesticks. However, this one unfortunately was just the bowl. And I did search the shelves looking for the candlestick holders, but I could not find them. Fits right in there, look at that. Perfect. Fortunately, this woman has been severed in half. Cute little trinket box up here. There is something inside we must investigate. What is it? It is a candle. We don't need a candle. I don't know why I moved those, <laughs> but look, here's a clock. Oh, here is a dish. That was modern as well. Over here, I found this piece to be interesting, especially the mark on the bottom. I liked the looks of the mark. It almost looked to be Cyrillic. In any case, it was a different language completely, and I liked that about it. And so I decided that I would take this to my cart and make sure that it fits nicely right there. There you go.
Here we've got a nice little picture. It is a souvenir piece from Niagara Falls, Canada. And again, up here, Niagara Falls, Canada. That actually looked to be an Otagiri mug, but because it was a souvenir piece, I decided that I would leave it behind. Here we've got an entire box of figurines. This was the only one that was in good condition. One of them appears to have had his head removed and she was missing her umbrella. It was unfortunate. And I didn't want to buy the entire box just to have the little boy. And so I walked away. Now this cake stand right here is false graph. Um, it is a floral pattern. Some of the Christmas pattern cake stands do sell pretty well, but not the floral ones. Now here we have a pink little planner. It's got some crazing and obviously has a little bit of age, but I decided to pass on it because of the discoloration. I liked the contrast of the gold and the silver on this, but there was some tarnish and there was a modern sticker on the bottom. Over here I've spotted this cute little pitcher. It is ceramic. It's got some nice colorful leaves on there. Very autumn, very fall. It's $1.99. It is lightweight. I'm assuming it's more than likely made in Japan, but fall is coming. I love fall and I decided to grab that. I thought she was kind of fun. She's either Holland Mold or Atlantic Mold. I've seen her quite a few times in other places. This man reminded me of a piece I saw recently. However, it had a Made in China sticker on the bottom. Up here I spotted a ceramic pumpkin and then back there, back there I see a glass pumpkin. I'm of the opinion that you can never have too many glass pumpkins when it's fall time and so I buy the glass pumpkin. It will probably never see eBay because I'm obsessed. This guy was so adorable. He was covered in faux snow and he's a styrofoam, I believe, and he's got that texture. $4.99. He was just too cute. We're kind of skipping from fall to winter here, but it's okay. I loved him and I decided to grab him. Got a coffee pot here? No, teapot. I don't know though. That size? Mm, not sure, but it was missing its lid, so it really doesn't matter. Up here, this beautiful bottle. I believe it could have been a barber bottle, but it was missing its stopper. I believe it would have had a stopper. It didn't have a ground lip on the inside, but I just, I'm feeling it would have had a stopper. However, I just loved, I loved the daintiness of it, the dainty flowers, and I just thought it was nice. These were modern. I believe that this was a Russell Wright creamer. It was not marked on the bottom though. teapot had one of the things missing off of the top. A 
got a picture here. White Jade Porcelain. I've never heard of that. I kind of like these little dishes here. I like the contrast of the silver with the black. But I passed. There's no markings on these pieces. Up here, I noticed another cake stand. Uh, this one being a Lucite cake stand, which I thought was interesting. Perhaps it's not a cake stand, I don't know. Uh, but I just really loved that weird, I don't know. It was just funky. I liked it. Got some Stangle plates here. It was $1.99 for both of them. Um, but Stangle, the plates, they just don't sell terribly well in, in, in my experience. I know there are always exceptions to the rules. There are, are probably some plates of Stangles that sell for very good money, but I just have yet to find them. That was a nice little advertising piece. It says Smuckers on it. It was probably a jelly or jam little container. There's a vase back there. It has a copper base. This was an interesting pottery piece. Um, I thought it was, it was a very modernist piece. It was interesting for $3.99. I was looking at the back to see if there was a way to hang it. There was not. So I think it was just a, a art piece, possibly. I liked it. It found its way into my cart. These little guys were pretty cute. I've never seen them before. Of course, I loved the hound dog. I grabbed that. Trying to get the camera to focus on it. Cute little hound dog. Somebody had scratched the price off of it. Fortunately, his friend, the mouse, maybe mouse, cat, was missing an ear. And so that had to stay behind. This was an art glass bunny. It said made in Taiwan on the bottom. Here we've got a lacquered box as an angel. It's a nice Christmas lacquered box. I found a nice little, she looks like a Bradley doll. And I thought, you know, I think I saw another one of these on the shelf somewhere. Where was it? I should probably reunite them. And so I did. There we go. <laughs> Back here I've spotted another console bowl. This one is a amber glass with the gold around the edge. Um, I don't like it as much as the blue with the gold. And unfortunately, again, it's missing its candlestick holders. Unfortunately. They just sell better when the console set is complete. Now this this lady right here kept blocking <laughs> kept blocking me and it was very frustrating. It made shopping very frustrating. Now we found another George Briard piece. It is marked there. You can see it's, it has butterflies on it. It's very lovely, very mid-century. And I try to finagle it into my cart very carefully. Look at that. And no, I have not broken anything ever yet. Hopefully never. Knock on wood. I really liked this piece a lot. It is modern, <laughs> but it does have a chip on it, unfortunately. All right, so I've literally filled my cart. I can't fit anything more in there. Uh, I'm getting a little overwhelmed. People are going the wrong way, which is not a really big deal, except they're blocking the aisle, and when I try to get by, they won't let me by. 
um, like they're completely ignoring me when I'm standing there waiting to get by. So I'm just, you guys know I'm not good with crowds. So I think I'm done here. Uh, we got a lot of stuff, our cart is full. I did stop one of the people wheeling out the carts and I said, excuse me, excuse me, um, that piece right there, do you think that I could, I could take that? And he was like, yeah, sure, I don't have to put it on the shelf. Um, so I got this and I've been carrying it under my arm because it won't fit in my cart. I also got this piece, I don't think I showed you, um, right here. Um, this is Lennox, it's a hurricane lamp. It's $6.99, I've noticed they've been putting $6.99 on a lot of things recently, um, but it sells between $20 and $30, so I'm not too worried about that. Um, we have, as you see, a complete a full cart. Um, so I think we're done here. Um, obviously there's an upset child there, this is why I do voiceovers, but um, I think we're I think we're done here. Okay, so that was a fantastic trip to the Goodwill, and I feel like that bowl really pulled us through. Really pulled us through. Um, it's got gazelles on it. I'm pretty sure they're gazelles. I don't think they're actually gazelles, actually. Um, but it is Fire King. It's a rarer version of the Fire King. You guys know I usually I usually pass up the Pyrex and all of that. Um, but come to find out, that bowl is worth about 120 to 150 dollars. That's what it sells for on eBay. So I'm pretty thrilled about that. I feel like that is our best item of the day. Absolutely, without a doubt. We got some other really great pieces, um, you know, like $20 here, $50 there. Some good pieces that it's really gonna add up. Our total spend was $89. So right there, the bowl pays for our total spend and then some. So I'm pretty excited with that trip. I feel like ooh, that bowl just, went over the top. I haven't had a score like that in quite some time, but we definitely scored today at the Goodwill and we filled our cart. So that was a good day. Um, I am now at the next Goodwill and I'm about to head in, but you guys are going to have to wait until tomorrow for that video. So I will see you all tomorrow. Um, have a good day. All right. Later. My family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that other people might overlook.